This one I'm friends with Barry. The shivs in the back, because that's usually how we he get He researches more all this shit. I don't. Okay. I just do what he does. Okay. Um, yeah, because the other one, not. Jeff Mosin mm. has one of these as well. Yeah, I saw he. Did he All right, it's a good day in the 4RS, heading up to Chris up at Performance Motorworks up in Austin to do the next mod where I'm gonna put in a safety first, safety first so that I can track this thing properly, but it's a BBI roll cage um, along with some seat adjustment so that my helmet doesn't hit the back of the seat, kind of be able to put that a little bit more at an angle, add a couple of degrees, and then what else are we doing? We're doing the harnesses, so we'll get those done. I did the powder black. I ordered it through Alex Shop out in California. It was decent, I think it was, I don't know, maybe three grand or something like that. And then I don't know what Chris charges to be able to install it, but I'm pretty excited. Gonna drop that off, drop off the 4RS there with Chris and then Barry is gonna give me a cruise over to the dealership and pick up my Tycon. My Tycon's been in the shop for, since October maybe, getting a bunch of recall work done on it. Pretty excited to be able to finally get that thing back, but I think I'm gonna probably end up selling it because I bought the Genesis. So I don't know, unless I get back in it and I have all those good feelings again and you know, I just can't let it go. We'll see. So let's go. I feel like we need to take just a moment to appreciate the sounds of this. That is so good, dude. That is so good. Mr. Barry has arrived. Yeah. In style, even. I like how you keep the. That's not stock, is it? This? No, that's no, TCW or something? Toe. Oh, and the trouble is the rear plate, the rear tow hook is behind the plate. Oh. But so you got to remove that when you drive. This thing looks good, dude. You've never seen it, right? No. What'd you do on the bottom here? What are those? Middle. Why? You have to have those on the track in order to take your rugs out. So you either have to take your floor mats out and put those in. And then what kind of pedals did you go with? Yeah, I went with the pedals that I have in all my cars. The Ren line. You can heel toe real, real easily with those. So I put those in everything. Are you going to put that in the 4RS? Probably, yeah, but even though you don't, need, you don't have to heel toe there, obviously. Oh, and you got these yeah, little straps that went over. Yeah, you need to get those. I mean, it looks really good. Anything else you're going to do to it? Um, it has the exhaust on it. Yeah, because there was a car that was posted that looked, it had their, their link pipes plus the delete of the back. And then it had resonators on it. And it sounded really good. And so... I'd like to hear about what they're doing with that and what that goes for. And then JCR, you want to hear from too? JCR, because it's titanium, I want to hear what they're going to do. What about Dundon? Uh, Dundon looks like they're way far behind because they're still scanning. Oh. So I'm guessing that's going to be summer or something before they get anything. It's time. I think that that's the next step. Yeah. What do you think of this? Oh, so we look at this. Let's see if we can get the judgment of Barry right now. That, that looks really close in the sunlight. You don't see the yellow as much here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I mean, good. do you see that it has a freaking, the depth to it though, it looks yeah. good. No, that looks, that's a close match. I mean, if you stand back here, like look at this, Barry, and stand. Yeah, um, I thought you'd see the yellow more, but I think it's more the lights that yeah. I saw it under. If I didn't know the options on this car, I would assume that's carbon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna do the big meatball. I mean, me mill on it. This, this, like, is a, this has a nice line right here. What I was thinking about doing though is the 82, the 82 in. So do the outside of the meatball and gloss and just let the color come through the stealth. Make, make a ring. Yeah. So a white ring with a number. Mm, not white. I don't know about white. You think I do white? Yeah, because the, the one I was going to do on the back is this color. Oh, yeah. And I saw you also did the brow up front. Yeah, with white, though. 
because that one stands out a lot more. Yeah, you ever seen one of these, Chris? Oh. Yeah, see, the, see, the, see how the intakes are right next to your ear? Oh, wow. And so you hear everything, and then the, the main throttle bodies are right here. Oh, wow. So you when need you tear to drive this it, apart, Chris. Yeah, you should. You so should. they verified that this will work with this GT4? Yeah. Because I've only done a, a GT4, uh, like not, that. not club sport. Like yours, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, it, it fits. And so I guess you're going to cut into this. Yes. And you'll cut and into then, that. that. Yes, I've done that before. And then, and then the they've given the replacement parts, though, for that, right? And I think the carpet, does the carpet have to, because the bar runs yes. across here, yeah, exactly. and the carpet, I think, has to be replaced. Exactly. Well, I mean, on the GT3s that I've been doing, some of these guys don't keep the cars very long, and they're like, look, I'm just going to track this thing for six months, just pull that piece of carpet out, throw it on the shelf. Yeah. I that way you don't have to buy another one. I'm and nobody it. can really see behind the scenes. I'm anyway. going to keep I'm it. I'm going to keep it. So I, I want it like really super clean. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I understand. Uh, I see now what you're trying to do. What's uh, that? My car has just become the guinea pig <laughs> so that Barry's car <laughs> will be better. Will be better. Uh, he, he's good. Now, he's good. And Now's the time to do we're it. Doing, he's we're doing harnesses out. also. Yeah. Does it have the. Okay. I'll have to. I bet you it doesn't have the. No, it cut. doesn't. Yeah. You can see it that quickly? Yeah, because it'll be split. Oh, so this and I'll buy it to cut the bottom of the seat and split the threads. But here's what Porsche does. They actually sew an extra thing up to this point. And so it's made to be done like that. Oh, so you okay. can see it. Yeah, here. that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, underneath oh, it. Okay. They may, okay. okay. That makes sense. So then and they, it, it's already uh, sewn all the way through. These are just like the GT3 seats. Uh, did you get the sub harness bar also? Yeah. Is, is it? Okay. Yeah, that's in The one that bolts on the side. It's from BBI. I think it's the that's GTA. the one everybody uses. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It bolt, it, it, little piece slides in here, and it bolts right here, and then it provides you a sub harness uh, bar kind of underneath the car. Okay. Yeah, these pedals look pretty benign compared to mine. Yeah, yeah yours look good. <laughs> yours look really good. Where do I get those pedals, man? These actually still look pretty good. Oh no, they don't. Not yeah, compared those look to yours. Pretty, uh, pedestrian. God, what a pedestrian. bitch. <laughs> okay. I need to get those. And then what about the? I need to get that metal stuff that you put on the bottom. That's from Redline too. This is the first big step. I'm pretty excited. Get a little bit closer to being able to put it on track. And then I've been talked into some pedals because I don't want mine to look pedestrian as Barry calls it. Get the harness bar in. I've never really done this before. I don't know what my hair is doing right now currently. You, you don't want the plug adapter because it hangs down under the dash and it gets in, in the way of your foot. What are we talking about? What's that for? Wiring in for the aim while, while he's got the seat out. So he basically would take this out. Oh. And then and then wire into the OBD2. So yeah, you, you don't, don't want the plug. one that plugs into the plug because then it hangs down and you'll oh. you yeah, kind of see it and it's kind of in your way. So, so if you, you, can buy the, you can buy the so same. So then I don't have to charge it, right? Yeah. That, right. Yeah. And, and you get way more data off yeah, the yeah. car. It, it, it'll give you the data from the, what the ECU is seeing as far as like RPM and things like that. And pedal movements. Yeah. So you'll know when the brake pedal is being applied. Yeah. It even gives you the steering angle. Okay. So well, let's do that too then. Yeah, so while it's, while it's open, just do it. Anything else you'd recommend while it's open? I mean, are you going to take it right straight to the track? I got to run it in a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. You want to do a track alignment on it? Yeah, that's that's one thing. I, we, we've got to do that eventually before we go to the track. He's still breaking it in. Okay, that alignment's not going to happen. Yeah, let's yeah. do a track alignment. Okay. So what, what would you do on the track alignment? Would you go naked and three in the front? The uh, let's see what the top hats are. Uh, as a matter of fact, eh, nope, these are the uh, just the regular ones. They're not the motorsports ones. Uh, Is that something we should try to get then? Why don't you just research it? Okay. Uh, Tarrant makes ones that are inset in. Uh, this one, the, friends with Barry. The shims in the back, because that's usually how we he get He researches more all this shit, I don't, okay. I just do what he does. Okay. Um, yeah, because the, the other one, not. Jeff Mosin mm. has one of these as well. Yeah, I saw he, he yeah. the only other thing that I would recommend is, I don't know what pads Porsche is putting in these. I'm sure they're not race pads. And yeah. then I would probably swap the fluid out for 660. Yeah, Let's yeah. change the Or if you want to do sure. SRF. Yeah, SRF is e either I like. one. I've yeah. had I've had no complaints with either one of them. Yeah, so SRF. The pads, I'll, I'll have to do some research. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of... No I idea how much Barry's spending really? on my money right now. Uh, RE10s. Alright, well whatever just Barry said right there, we'll do that. <laughs>
And whatever doesn't suppose. go right on this one, they'll go right on the next one. Fuck. That's <laughs> that's what I'm afraid of. That's all right. There's a learning curve. The, the new, uh, the Dyna 2 GT3 that I did, I was like, is that they got aftermarket wheels? I'm like, no. Of course, finally put some nice looking wheels on. Uh, These are forged. Oh, yeah. They're going to put forged wheels always on a car. Those are cast. Those are cast? Those are, are you cast. sure? Yeah. They were put that on the performance level The GT3 is cast. The GT3 RS is forged. So I'm not gonna get a fab speed, but you mentioned the fab speed you didn't like. What was the what was it's your... just the quality. I mean, it's questionable if it's made overseas, honestly. Okay. Uh soul it's... performance, man, that stuff is nice stuff. It fits great. There, see. Uh it's more expensive and Here's my story with fast people. Uh, many, many years ago, a, fr uh, a friend of SW's and a friend of mine named Bruce St. John. I don't know if you know who he is. I've heard the name. He's had a couple Porsches. He used to run out there, but he just kind of quit. He bought some fab piece stuff, and they said it was going to be like 30 more horsepower. And he goes, you know what? When I had Boost Logic, he's like, let's put it on the dyno before you get started. He goes, I'll pay for it and everything. So we put it on the dyno, and we put all this stuff on there, air boxes, headers, exhaust, and all that. Put it back on the dyno, lost five horsepower. What? He was mad. Totally mad. He called back. And he's like, you know, I, just give me my money back. I, don't even worry about the labor. And they're like, no, no, no. I'm like, okay, fine. And he goes, well, and he's like, I, I'll just, I'll just post the results on everything, you know, everything, everything all professionally done, all this stuff. And they end up like just send it all back. And so, and then you, we look at the stuff because we used to build turbo kits, you know, and we know quality uh, piping and all that. So we're like, man, this is not good, very good quality stuff. Wow. And. Uh, if anything, they're getting a lot more for their product than I seem to think it's worth. Well, special stuff, you know, that's something that requires a little attention to detail. Yeah. Uh, this one's going to end up getting a new LS motor with the transmission, a rear end. and What is this? This is a Shelby Series 1. Wow. Uh, they made them for, I think, one or two years. They, did, they weren't very popular. Now I hear they're worth a lot of money. It has a, a, an Oldsmobile 4-liter engine, and you could get an optional... Uh, uh, supercharger on it. This one has that, but I just, it's just in here for service. I put new tires on it. It's got a lot of GM components in it. It kind of, it's interesting looking. Yeah. I can't tell what it looks like. I mean, yeah, it doesn't. It's its own. It's it's a, oh, it's a manual. stuff on it, but uh, yeah, I guess he was really trying to design, uh, trying to design his own, totally his own car. And he had I, I love these. Yeah. The, I like them too. They look beautiful. They're not fun to drive. They're not. They drive like a '63-year car. Really? The brakes are terrible. The suspension is terrible. But what about they, a resto mod version of that? That's what a lot of people. I work on quite a few of those that have new motors and new yeah. suspension. And you know, I, I don't want to build them. It's just too big of a project for me for what I want to do in the shop. But the the uh, the resto mods, you know, people are like, dude, I, I love the body style. I like that, you know driving it but if it had better suspension a better engine and better power and all that then stuff so I, I work on quite a but this one's totally soft it was probably restored about 15 years ago wow and honestly this car probably bring 175 to 185 thousand dollars now dang uh, but it's yeah, got a issue with the brakes so that's what i'm dealing with i think they're they're cool yeah, looking cars nice. for sure that's disappointing to hear that they're not fun to drive though because that's so yeah, much you of probably it. want to drive it to a car show and park it, and uh, and that's it. What are we looking at? Oh, yeah, so the Mustang. It's a little Fox oh, body. Great. See the see the intake of the turbo. Yeah, dude, dude. that's cool. And here's the exhaust. It, whose is this? Is this? It's one of his buddies. And then see the intake goes all the way back because they don't care about turbo leg, so they run the intake all the way back into here. And there's an ice box. Good night. Where, where it cools it off. So this is just like a straight line monster. It's just a dragster, yeah. And then so it cools it off here and then brings the charge back forward into the intake. You can see it going right Golly, back. Golly, man. So here, here's here's the, the hot tube and here's the cold tube. That's crazy. And then you can see it going right into, into the top. How much horsepower do you think this thing makes? I think you said it was like 1,200 or something like that. Something crazy like that. Look at the size of that thing. All right, and is this technically considered like a roll cage, or is this just no, a harness? It's a, it's a, no, it's a roll bar, but it's a roll bar. Uh, don't worry about it. With, a, with obviously a harness bar. Two horse, two horse cases cases here, yeah. And this is made by BBI. BBI. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. this is. Yeah, see that's satin. That's pretty high quality. Yeah. Were we doing satin or gloss? Satin. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's. 
That looks good. That looks good. Look at this. That's like the fitment of that. That looks. Yeah, no, it should. It's supposed to be really nice and clean on the installation. And then here, okay, here's the set bar. Yeah. Is it four of those or four? Yeah. Okay, one, three, one, one, one pair one, for yours yeah. and one for you. Okay. So there's four of those. All right, so we just dropped that off. They're gonna put it in that roll bar, and then apparently I just spent a shit ton more money. How how much money do you think I just you just spent of my money right there? Probably a couple thousand. God damn. For the pedals, how much are those oh, pedals? I mean, if, by the time you get, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I don't. If it if all pedals, you get is pedals and mats and cables and and, the, and, and the side stuff, things, then the it'll side be, bolster things. Oh, the, yeah, you'll, you'll hit a thousand. Right, you'll hit at least a thousand. And then what about the brakes? Changing out the brakes and then doing a track setup on it. Yeah, you'll, you'll be at two thousand probably. Okay. Because the paths okay. are five hundred to a thousand sometimes. Okay, well that's cool. Glad we did that, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all being taken care of quickly. All right, stay tuned for the pickup. Peace. Peace.